back live in action, ladies and gentlemen, from the break on the hottest show on the streets, best form of Alabama football news, notes, and information you are going to find. This is In My Own Words with yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine. I am live in studios, and after being able to give a recap of the Alabama Duke game, I teased something before the break on how... In this segment right here, we are unveiling something new, something different, something fresh to TDA in which yours truly is kind of spearheading this. You, the fans, are really going to enjoy this. But before we dive into the new wrinkle, got to give a word to our sponsor. So, in my own words, it's now brought to you by Title Tile. This is the rally tile with benefits for the avid Alabama sports fan. Title Tile is only $9.99, and it lasts a lifetime. Show your pride and purpose for all things Bama while you twirl Title Tile in the air like you just don't care. Go to WhitwillSports.com. That's W-H-I-T-W-I-L-S-P-O-R-T-S, WhitwillSports.com, and get you a couple of those tiles today. Now, getting into the new fresh wrinkle to Touchdown Alabama magazine. We've become uh, used to seeing the big names, the national names out there, your Mel Kuyper Jr., your Todd McShays. And before this particular individual became the general manager for the Oakland Raiders, Mike Mayock was doing this as well. I'm referring to guys that make the NFL draft projections. The big boards, the podcast, the mock drafts. You know, we hear these things. We listen to these things. We tune in to see, you know, what McShay's got going on. What does Kuiper have going on? How does, how has Mike Mayock or Bucky Brooks, how do they have their boards? How do they rank these players? We tune in each and every week to see what do these guys have to say in terms of draft projections. Now, for the Alabama fans out there, for you guys, the tried and true, the diehards that enjoy, love, crave, can't get enough of this brand, this program, this product, you do not have to go to those guys anymore. I'm going to tell you why. Because Touchdown Alabama Magazine, yours truly, Stephen M. Smith, has unveiled our big board our NFL draft projections for 2020 for all the draft eligible Crimson Tide players. We got you covered right here. When you pick up that subscription to TD, AlabamaMag.com, do that today. When you get that subscription to TD, AlabamaMag.com, you will be able to find a list of all NFL draft projections for all the eligible players. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to dive in to my offensive guys for the Crimson Tide that I see as first-round picks. We'll dive into defensive guys in another show, but I'm going to go into my offensive guys first. So the number one guy, first-round pick I've got for the Crimson Tide, none other than junior quarterback Tua Tungavangoa. Tungavangoa, first-round pick in my opinion. He's the number one quarterback on my big board, QB number one. He's also my number one overall pick for the 2020 draft. His performance against Duke, near flawless. I understand Nick Saban mentioning that the offense left some points on the score off the scoreboard, left some money on the table, but Tua nonetheless near flawless. Completed 26 of 31 pass attempts. That's an 84% completion clip. For 336 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions, led an Alabama team that won 42-3 over the Duke Blue Devils in week one, captained an Alabama offense that totaled 512 yards and converted six of 12 third downs. Tungabangoa also hooked up with nine different receivers, including two tight ends, Miller Forrestal and Major Tennyson. Now, the guys that are the biggest competition to one Tonga Vangoa just so happen to be with the biggest guy 
happens to be his former teammate in Jalen Hurts, who is now the quarterback for the Oklahoma Sooners. Hurts put up 508 yards offensively and six touchdowns in a 49-31 to win for the Sooners over the University of Houston in Week 1. So Jalen Hurts, 508 yards total offense, six touchdowns. Aside from him, you can look at Jacob Eason of the Washington Huskies that got a 49-14 to win over Eastern Washington. Jacob Eason had four touchdowns in that matchup. Aside from him, you got Joe Burrow of Louisiana State University, those LSU Tigers. The Tigers getting a win over Georgia Southern, 55-3. to Joe Burrow with five touchdown passes in that game, completed 23 of 27 attempts for 276 yards. And then you've got Sam Ellinger of Texas, who had four total scores in the Longhorns, 49 49- well, 45, excuse me, to 14 win over Louisiana Tech. So those main guys, once again, Jalen Hurts of Oklahoma. You've got Jacob Eason of Washington. There in lies Sam Ellinger, Texas. And there is Joe Burrow of the LSU Tigers. Those are the main guys in competition with Tua Tagovailoa and trying to be the number one quarterback taken on draft boards. You can even throw... Shea Patterson in there as well as he had a good performance for the Michigan Wolverines. But Tua, near flawless, number one quarterback on my big board, number one overall pick for the 2020 draft. He is a first round pick. Moving on down to my number two guy, Jerry Judy at wide receiver. Judy, first round pick. Judy, number one wide out on my big board. Judy, number three overall pick I have for the 2020 draft against Duke in week one. Fantastic. 10 catches, 137 yards, one touchdown, averaged 13.7 yards per catch on 13 targets. A guy that's smooth, effortless, quick, agile. He's got the total package despite not being the freakish, freakish size-wise guy of your 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", prototype physical receivers. But aside, aside from the size, Judy's got the full package. Now, In terms of the biggest names he's competing against, you look at T. Higgins of Clemson, who caught four passes for 98 yards and one touchdown, averaged 24 and a half yards per catch in the Tigers' 52 to 14 win over Georgia Tech. Behind Higgins, you've got C.D. Lamb of Oklahoma, who had two catches for 46 yards and one score. And the Sooners is 49 to 31 win over the Houston Cougars. You've got Colin Johnson of the University of Texas, the Longhorns, who had four catches for 59 yards and a score. And Texas is 45 to 14 win over Louisiana Tech. And you've got Justin Jefferson of the LSU Tigers, who had five catches for 87 yards and one score. In the Tigers is 55 for three win over Georgia Southern. So running back through those guys again, biggest names of competition for Jerry Judy. You've got T. Higgins of Clemson, C.D. Lamb of Oklahoma, Colin Johnson of Texas, and Justin Jefferson of Louisiana State University. But Jerry Judy, number one, number one receiver on my board, number three overall pick. He is going in the first round of a 2020 draft. And then last but not least, you've got Henry Ruggs. I've got Ruggs listed first round pick. Number four receiver on my draft board. And he is the number 15 overall pick in the 2020 draft to me. Now, of course, with Ruggs, did not get much attention against Duke. Just two catches for 15 yards. He also had one kick return for 22 yards, but still have him as a first-round pick. And the reason why, this weekend against New Mexico State, look for a big game from Henry Ruggs. On kick return, as a receiver, he is going to get a lot of opportunities to break open, get up and down the field, and make big-time plays. And um, with Henry Ruggs competing against the same guys as Jerry Judy is, Just look for Henry Ruggs. Watch him. This week is a big week for him. But running back to this again, my three first-round guys offensively, Tua Tagovailoa at quarterback, Jerry Judy at wide receiver, and Henry Ruggs at wide receiver as well. 
We'll go through the defensive guys on a different show, but want to provide for you the offensive guys in unveiling this new wrinkle. We take our final break here on In My Own Words, but folks... Don't touch that dial. As always, get yourself acquainted with the Touchdown Alabama Magazine app. Invest in yourself. Be the smart fan. You do this by going to your iPhone app store. If you're rocking Team Apple, Google Play Store. If you got the Android phone to download the app, you subscribe to TDAlabamaMag.com to get the latest on all things Bama football. You also subscribe to Touchdown Alabama Magazine on YouTube. Get with the site, people. Over 1 million video views, over 5,000 subscribers strong. Thanks to you, the fans. Upon our return, we will recap the Alabama-New Mexico State game and talk about the things that went well, how Alabama can continue to also make improvements. Tidy it up, loose ends. On the other side of the break, folks, you're listening to In My Own Words. What's up, college football fans? You can catch the show every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Subscribe to get all the news, notes, and information covering your Alabama Crimson Tide. 